Hello, pre-calculus students. This is Mr. McAllen, and uh, we're on page nine of the trig proof worksheet uh, that we had in class. And um, this we did this on day seven. But um, again, <clears throat> there are many ways to do these. I'm going to show you a way to do these solutions. I primarily am working on the left side of the equation, and this is from page nine of your packet. So on number one, I'm going to work on the left side, and I'm going to break up the fractions. So I'm going to rewrite the fractions as 1 over cosine of x plus cosine of x over cosine of x. And then uh, that will just be my reason will be separate fractions. And then uh, the next uh, line, I'm going to say that I have the secant of x from a reciprocal identity plus 1 from just the regular division of the same thing. And what we have here is we'll call this, um, the reason would be a reciprocal ID and uh, division or canceling. And we have this identity matches up with this. On the next identity, I'm going to rewrite number uh, the left side as 1 minus cosine squared of x. And that's using the reciprocal identity. And then I'm going to just rewrite that as sine squared of x, because from my Pythagorean identity, I know that 1 minus cosine squared of x is equal to sine squared of x. So I'm going to write down um, Pythagorean substitution. On the next identity, I'm going to um, use what's called um, uh, on the left side, I'm going to do multiplying by the conjugate. So I have tangent of y over secant of y minus 1. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. I'll draw that in red. And when I multiply everything out, I get tan of y times secant of y plus 1 all over secant squared of y minus 1. This is a difference of squares in the bottom. And I can replace this part with, um, I'm just going to minimize this handwriting a little bit so I have more room. And this is where we say normally you guys should um, be writing this down in a notebook so you have unlimited space. But this becomes tan of y on top secant of y plus 1. In the bottom, this is a Pythagorean identity. I'm going to just replace that with tangent squared of y. You have that from your note card. So this is tangent squared of y. And um, and then that finally becomes, because of division, um, secant of y plus 1 over tan of y. And now that checks out with that and my reasons for each step. The first step was I did conjugate multiplication just to make uh, things happen in the bottom. The second thing I did uh, to get to this step, I said that was um, foiling the denominator. To get to this step where I replaced the tangent squared, that was um, a Pythagorean identity. And finally, to get to this step here, I just used division to have tan squared in the bottom cancel out with tan of y in the top. Moving along to number four, this one is going to be adding fractions. I can see that I've got two fractions that have got to be added. So I'm going to write this out where I have the common denominator is going to be 1 plus sine times 1 minus sine. 1 plus sine of a, 1 minus sine of a. And then we have plus, and I'm going to have the same denominator over here, 1 um, minus sine of a times 1 plus sine of a. And you've got to be really careful and concentrate on what you're doing with this because you don't want to write it down incorrectly. And then I have, in the numerator, I have cosine of a. Remember, I had cosine of a to begin with, and I put... 1 minus sine of a in the bottom, so I got to put 1 minus sine of a in the numerator. Over here, I have cosine 
of a from before. And because I put one plus sine of a in the bottom, I'm going to do that again. Was one plus sine of a in the top. Now I'm going to collect like terms in the top of cos of a minus sine a cos of a plus cos of a. And I've got plus cos of a sine of a in the top. And that's all that's all adding the terms. In the bottom, I've got one. When I FOIL at the bottom, well, I'll just do it in two steps. I have 1 plus sine of a times 1 minus sine of a. So my reason for part 1 was adding fractions in common denominator. For part 2, simplify the numerator. Part 3, I simplify the numerator, it's going to become 2 cosine of a, and the bottom is going to become 1 minus sine squared of a, I'm foiling. So here I got um, foiling, and, or you could say multiplying, multiplying binomials, if you want to be technical about it. And then the last step is I have 2 cosine of a over cosine squared of a. And that is from Pythagorean identity. And I'm sorry, the last step is I have 2 over cos of a. And that's from um, division and canceling. Uh, moving up to the top, I go to number five, and I see I have um, I have cosecant of b minus one uh, is equal to. It looks like I'm going to have an easier time if I do conjugate on the right. So I'm going to do the right side. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, I'll do it on the right side. So I have cotangent squared of b, and I'm over cosecant of b plus 1. I'm going to multiply by cosecant of b minus 1 over cosecant of b minus 1, top and bottom. So then I get um, cotangent of b times cosecant of b minus 1 all over cosecant of b squared minus 1. That's the difference of squares. Um, this happens to be equal to uh, this should be squared here. This happens to be equal to in the bottom, this part, is a Pythagorean identity and that would be cotangent squared of v. So that cancels with that. And what am I left with? Just what I had on the left-hand side. So the reasons, I'll write them in red just so they stand out. The first step was conjugate. The second was um, we foiled and multiplied. The third was we recognized uh, and we used a Pythagorean identity substitution, and the fourth, where we have the canceling, we use division. Last one for the video. This shouldn't be too bad. Um, we have sine, um, if I use, yeah, if I use the, um, um, If I do sine of x, I'm going to just work with the left side, times sine of x over cosine of x. I end up getting, because I'm changing tangents, so the first reason is a quotient ID. And then I'm going to get sine squared of x over cosine of x. That's just multiplication. The next one is going to be, I'm going to change sine of x to 1 minus cosine squared of x. And 
that is going to be all over cosine of x, and that's going to be um, Pythagorean identity. And the last one, I'm just going to separate fractions. I've got 1 over cosine of x minus cosine of x. Um, that's going to be separating fractions. I keep saying that's the last one, but this is really the last one. Step five, it's going to be changing this to secant of x minus cosine of x, and that's just using a reciprocal identity. All right, number seven was a non-problem because it didn't have an equal sign to it, so don't worry about number seven. And hopefully this video helps you understand what we did on worksheet um, page nine. So I look forward to hearing your comments. I know it went a little bit over 10 minutes, but hopefully you just fast forward to the parts that you need help with. And um, I hope this helps you prepare for um, the next page. Good luck.